Hi, welcome to my ingredients analysis, swatches, application demonstration, and wear test of the Tarte Cosmetics Lip Ornaments Lip Gloss Set. If you're not interested in the ingredients, I have timestamps down below in my description box, as well as clickable timestamps pinned as the first comment in this video, and you can skip ahead to whichever part you'd like. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. My videos help you to become a more informed consumer because I dive deep into ingredients using evidence-based research and I look at the ingredients going into the different cosmetics, skincare, and hair care products that we use. You absolutely should know what is going into your personal care products and my channel is here to help you do that. Let's get into these ingredients. The first set of ingredients I want to touch on are the emollients, and emollients are going to help our lips just feel very smooth, very supple and soft. And as you can see by this list, the Tarte Lip Ornaments definitely do not lack when it comes to emollients, which is a wonderful thing because we love lip glosses that are going to leave our lips just feeling nicely moisturized and hydrated. The Octidodecanol is a fatty alcohol. That's the good kind of alcohol we like to see fatty alcohols in our cosmetics and skincare products, and it also works as an emulsifier. Silica is a silicone, and it's in perfect little spheres. Silicones help to prevent transepidermal water loss, so once again, our lips are going to really retain their moisture and feel nicely hydrated. Going down this list of emollients, I also want to touch on hyaluronic acid, which is a very popular humectant. Humectants bind to water, which means that it's going to help to keep that water once again in our lips, giving us a nice temporary plumping effect. The last emollient I want to touch on is the tocopherol acetate. This is an antioxidant, it's vitamin E, and vitamin E really helps to smooth out any lines, any wrinkles, and to just give us a nice even texture to our lips. So all of these emollients working together are just going to help to smooth, glide, and just leave us with soft, supple lips. The next category of ingredients I want to chat about are anti-agers. And this formula contains two different peptides. Both of these peptides work in increasing collagen production in our lips, which over time we may notice more plumped up looking lips from this lip gloss, which would be great because that also means it's going to help to minimize any fine lines you may have on your lips. Binders help to keep the lip gloss intact because they hold the oil and the water portions of the gloss together. Polybutene is also a thickener, so it's going to be responsible for giving the gloss a little bit more of a substance to it rather than having a watery gloss. And the VP hexadecene copolymer also functions as a texture enhancer, so we're going to have just a nice creamy formula. I have to say I was pretty disappointed to see that alcohol is an ingredient in this formula. This is the pro-drying, pro-aging form of alcohol, and I'm guessing it was put in there to be used as a solvent, and solvents help to dissolve certain ingredients in the formula to keep the lip gloss stable. So I'm not too happy to see it. I hope this formula isn't going to burn my lips, and that the amount of alcohol in it was quite minimal, and I'll be able to tell once I apply it how my lips are feeling and if they're starting to feel even dried out. We also have an emulsifier in this formula, which is going to hold the oil and the water portions of the lip gloss together, as well as lactic acid. This is a very gentle alpha hydroxy acid. It's an exfoliant, and it's going to ultimately soften the lips. Finally, I wanna to touch on a stabilizer. This is going to help to stabilize the pH of the formula and to just keep the ingredients in the lip gloss functioning and prevent them from breaking down. 
A few other ingredients in this formula include a very common preservative. There's also the ingredient of fragrance slash perfume. Now, this is an ingredient I'm not crazy about because it is considered a trade secret what that actual fragrance perfume concoction is. And because of that, there can be so many different chemicals that the cosmetics company does not need to disclose on the ingredients label because once again, it is considered a trade secret. So we really have no idea what's going into that fragrance. I'm hoping once again that it is lower on the list of the ingredients so it's not going to impact our lips too much. Now, when I do talk about that ingredients label, if you're thinking to yourself, well, you can actually just count them to see, you might wanna watch my how to read a cosmetics and skincare ingredients label video because I talk in that video about the 1% rule and by law, in order to keep formulas a secret, Cosmetics companies do not need to disclose the order of the ingredients once they hit that 1% line. So typically between the first two to seven ingredients are above 1%, but everything else is less than 1%. I go more into detail in that video, check it out if you're interested, but just because an ingredient may be listed as the 12th ingredient in the label, that doesn't really mean it's the 12th ingredient in the product. Finally, we have the opacifying agents and the mica, the synthetic fluoroflogopite, which is synthetic mica, and the calcium sodium borosilicate are all responsible for that luminous sheen that we see in the lip gloss. These lip glosses have high shine and it comes from those three ingredients. So that wraps up all the ingredients in this formula. Overall, I'm happy with the emollients. I am not so happy with the alcohol as well as just that fragrance ingredient, but let's get into the swatches, see what they look like, and once we try them on as well, we can see how they perform and if they burn the lips. The product packaging for this Tarte Holiday Lip Gloss Set is just adorable. It has a light gold background as well as pastel pink and blue ornaments covering the entire package. On the bottom it says that the lip glosses are each 5.2 milliliters, which is 0.17 fluid ounces, and it retails for 28 US dollars. At the time of making this video, I could not find the price of this sold at Sephora here in Dubai. It's not listed yet on sephora.ae, so I don't have it. If I do come across it, I will absolutely put it in the description box down below. On the back side of the package, you can see the four different swatches of the lip gloss shades, as well as a cute little tag so you can write to, from, and gift this kit to a friend or family member. Let's get into the swatches and the application. The first shade we're going to swatch is Snowflake, and this has a very milky appearance. As I'm moving it around, I see a lot of cool pink, a fuchsia type pink, as well as a light rose gold reflect. I also want to point out that the cover of the lip gloss is a light rose gold shade. Now there was that fragrance ingredient and I wanna see how this smells. It has a very light, sweet vanilla type scent to it. I'm going to first apply the lipstick on bare lips and then I'll put a lipstick on and we'll see how it looks as a lip topper. The lip gloss doesn't have much pigment to it at all, so I look like I am just wearing a shiny clear lip gloss. I am not feeling any burning at all. The lip gloss has a very thick texture to it and it's also slightly sticky. I've now put on a coat of lipstick. This is the Tom Ford Pussycat Lipstick, and I'm going to put the lip gloss on top. Now I have to say the lip gloss is not feeling as sticky at all, and my lips just look, they look very glossy, and they feel very, I love the way they feel right now. They just feel like they are packed with moisture. I do wanna point out, of course, that once you use this with lipstick, you are going to stain the tip of the wand, which is this very soft, just oval looking covering with your lipstick. 
Let's now try on the shade Cuddle, which is the pink shade, and the reflect in this one looks very gold. I can absolutely see a pink tint to this gloss, and I do want to point out that it does feel thick and slightly sticky. And using the same Tom Ford lipstick, I am now going to apply the Cuddle Lip Gloss on top. This one does seem to have made my lipstick a little bit pinkier, and once again, once I have that lipstick on, I'm not feeling the stickiness anymore. The next shade we're going to swatch is Twinkle, and this one seems to have a silver reflect to it and a bit of a whitish reflect. Also want to point out that the top of this lip gloss is a bright gold. This one appears to be more of a coppery light gold color. I can see it tinted on my lips. I also can detect all of the different reflex on my lip. I'm, I hope you can see it on camera, but looking very, very close in my mirror, as I'm moving my lips around, I can see the different shades of the opacifying agents kind of glittering on my lips. It's very pretty, also very subtle. Now on top of my lipstick, it looks pretty. I would say it gave it a slightly warmer tone to the lipstick, but it is very minimal. The last shade we're going to try on is Milk and Cookies. That's a great name. And this looks like a very cool toned, mauve -y type of brown shade with a lot of cool toned reflect in it. I'm seeing some light purple and some silver. And the top of the lip gloss is also silver. This does give my lips a bit of a mauve look to them. I have to say that with this lip gloss, I feel that it does add a bit of richness to my lipstick color. To me, this just seems like a beautiful fall wintry type of combination. So now that I've tried on all the different glosses, I am going to do my wear test. So I'll check back in with you in about an hour and we'll see how the lip gloss is holding up. I suspect it is going to transfer pretty quickly, but you never know. I'll also share my thoughts on this product with you when I come back. It's been about an hour, hour 20 minutes since I saw you last and I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. I have been talking quite a bit, so the lip gloss does seem to have thinned out a little bit on my lips, but I feel that it's still going strong. I'm going to take a sip of water now and we'll see what the transfer is like. So as you can see, it's pretty much what I expected. Glosses like these aren't long wear. However, I will say that Although I would need to apply them quite often, they do feel wonderful on my lips. Overall, I have to say that I absolutely love these lip glosses. I will use these as lip toppers, so when I say that, what I mean is I'll use them on top of lipsticks. On their own, they didn't have enough color for me and I found them to be a bit sticky, but on top of lipsticks, they really just gave me that richness, that glossiness, and that moisture that I was really looking for. So for me, these are just fantastic, and I will use them all fall and winter long. I was concerned about the alcohol in the formula. However, it seems that it really was used as a solvent and in a very light amount. I have incredibly sensitive lips, and whenever I use something with alcohol in it, I can feel the drying right away. I can feel burning and tingling. And I didn't feel that at all with any of these glosses. 
As far as the fragrance goes, the scent is very light, it's very sweet, and it was not something that bothered me. I tend to get headaches when something has a bit too much fragrance in it, and I didn't have that at all, so I think that the fragrance used in this formula was once again a very light amount. I think that this kit is just a winner and I recommend getting this for yourself, for a friend or a family member. This would be a great gift for the holiday season and you really can't go wrong. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.